people teaching you what is right and people teaching you what is wrong, but there's no right and wrong uh, in a way. Hi everybody, I'm Mario. Welcome to another episode of Design Interview 10 Questions, where we interview designers from all around the world. Today we talk with Aike Kuni. Hi Aike, thank you Hello. for being here. Thank you for inviting me, yeah. So if you don't mind, we can start with the initial questions, which right. is, what made you become a designer? Um, um, yeah, um, I think the, 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 the time I was born um, and grew up, um, we named it Cold War, um, and, uh, and we were facing a situation where um, well, there were a lot of um, um, nuclear weapons and uh, and uh, and pointing on you. Uh, 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 so the, the the magazines. My 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 parents always uh, were very political, and so we had a lot of magazines, political magazines uh, at home, and uh, the magazines were full of uh, infographics showcasing the situation we are forcing at that time. We were forcing at that time, and uh, and I really got interested by uh, the power of these infographics. You know, like they they instantly told me uh, how the situation, how bad the situation was, how often we could nuke ourselves as humans, and uh, and uh, so I got interested in 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 the power of uh, of the visual language. And then I figured out that there's a a um, um, a person behind that, you know, who creates it, and that's a graphic designer. Well, that was somehow uh, where I started to, you know, like research on 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 um, the discipline itself. What is it? What does a graphic designer? What is a graphic designer doing? And uh, and I also wanted to uh, learn somehow how to use that. Um, power um, in my own life and uh, on and I think that's a that was the initial moment when I was 13 or something like this but then later um, uh, I was very much into music I'm still in but uh, at that time it was more uh, like um, an ex yeah no like a I don't know how to explain it, but but um, you know I, I I was collecting records and and uh, and uh, listening to music was more like a um, like like a how can I say like a like an experience you you you're browsing through your collection and then you're picking up one um, and it's often. Uh, or sometimes it's based on, a, on on the cover, or sometimes it's just the content you you want to listen to, and then you have all these uh, rituals, you know, like you're picking it up, you're getting out the the record, you're putting it on the player, and then you start the music, and then while listening to the music, you're looking at the graphics of the cover, and then I got interested in who's doing these covers and. Uh, um, at that time, I was listening a lot to Pink Floyd, so I got into uh, hypnosis and Storm Torgerson, who were the designers behind. Uh, and uh, I really enjoyed uh, this layer of um, uh, information I got through um, the cover. So I think that based on that two um, uh, uh, things where I'm interested in, I, I decided to become a graphic designer. But... At that time, when I studied graphic design, um, most of the students um, went into advertising, uh, and uh, and graphic design itself was uh, more like a niche. Uh, I think most of the people really uh, were uh, educated to become uh, someone, a person, an art director, or uh, someone uh, in, in advertising. Uh, I think that was the biggest industry at that time. And uh, and I had my experience in advertising. I did an internship in a in a Swiss German agency, and uh, and I was totally frustrated in the first two weeks um, about 
the job I, I had to do there. Um, it was not graphic design at all. Um, so I quit. And uh, and the second one I did in a, in a record label, a techno label in Frankfurt. And that's where I found my heart, you know, like combining, uh, uh, listening to music and at the same time visualizing it. So somehow the little circle already closed very early in my life. Um, and uh, yeah, that's why I'm a graphic designer now. <laughs> and what, what is design for you? Because especially, for example, in your words, I mean, your prints, you use statements that are really connected with, with what you said at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, I mean, design is, is uh, it's everywhere. You know, it's, it's uh, for sure in the beginning, I, I, um, I always, when I talk about design, or when I thought about design, it was always connected to my discipline. But uh, the older I get, the more I see uh, how everything is designed, you know, like uh, societies um, um, uh, and, and so on. So uh, uh, everything that is somehow constructed in a way is, is, is designed by humans. And, um, and, and if you see that, if you open it up, it's, it's way more interesting also. So uh, for me, design is, um, is um, creating... A, a solution for a problem we have uh, and that might be visual that might be um, text-based that might be you know like it's 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 just it's just not what I am just doing it's it's um, what a lot of people are or all the people are doing in a way and I find it even more interesting what um, amateurs are doing you know like designing without an education uh, it's way more inspirational than um, the people who are educated designers, because yeah, it's 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 like you you learn uh, people teaching you what is right and people teaching you what is wrong, but there's no right and wrong uh, in a way. Um, I mean, okay, if you do something that harms someone, uh, then maybe maybe it's wrong in an um, ethical way, but uh, 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 but there's no. Yeah, I, I, I found it quite uh, quite um, frustrating to study, to be honest. You know, it, it was, um, I had so many ideas and I, I was so much looking forward and I, I was so much rebellion uh, against uh, uh, the past. You know, I didn't want to just repeat what other people were doing. And I was like questioning it and, and that wasn't... Uh, the idea of our, our university, it was more like learn from the past. For sure, I like that. I, I think it's important to know the past. Uh, and uh, and I can learn also a lot from, from it, but I, I also have to question it because just time is changing so quickly and fast. Uh, and uh, what I'm saying now might not be correct tomorrow um, or might not um, be triggering anyone tomorrow. So. So, um, what was the question again? Uh, in my <laughs> what is design for you? I'm using I'm, I'm using visual design in my in my in my um, in my personal work, you know, uh, and and in my studio work uh, with my team, uh, for sure we're doing this commercial things, uh, but but my personal work is very much connected connected to uh, my commercial work. Um, it's and it's not a it's not. I'm not, you know, a graphic designer, and on the other side, I'm an artist. No, I'm, 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 I'm one person, and um, and for me, it was very natural to, um, you know, to start doing my my personal work uh, based on the knowledge uh, I gained through working for 25 years in the business. So, so working with typography, um, working in this specific format, uh, working with um, uh, uh, language, you know, like that was what, what I was doing before uh, when clients were asking to do something for, for them, you know, like that it was always based on on, uh, on, a, on a written content, uh, a message they would like to communicate and and uh, I just had a, took a break, you know, I was in, in Rome uh, uh, in the Academy of Arts in, uh, of Germany, uh, Villa Massimo, and uh, that was the first time that I had no client telling me, you know, like, uh, I need something. Um, 
so um, so that's where I, I just started to to um, use the same tools, uh, but um, um, filling it with my own dialogue or thoughts and. So it's not; it's just a development uh, for me, and uh, and uh, yeah, um, it's, you, it's similar, you know. Like in a way, it's just uh, I, the work I'm 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 showing now, or I'm producing now, uh, next to the commercial work is just uh, uh, without being um, asked to do them. You know, like it's my own motivation. It's my my. My inner self that that uh, tries to uh, visualize uh, 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 things that uh, I'm having in my mind, and but in the same time, the art market is also a commercial market, so it's not so different, you know. Like, uh, and I'm using the tools like Instagram uh, uh, and 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 I'm branding myself, you know, like by by. Using the same typography, uh, the same typefaces. Um, I have rules, you know, like uh, and 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 all together, it's also a branding of 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 me as a as a person who do um, whatever fine arts, you know. So it's 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 something I have learned, and I'm uh, uh, yeah, and I'm using. But I think. One interesting point of your works, for example, is that I have the impression that you not try just to reach designers or, or, or who is around that world, but yeah. more everyone, yeah. people that uh, surround you, is around you every day. Is it correct? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to create? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, um, um that bubble I'm living in, and 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 you know, like we, there's this development for years now that we design for designers and and we create for our community and and um, we want to get uh, accepted by others, uh, other designers. Um, for me, it was. Uh, always more interesting to to hear what other people are saying without being connected to design. Uh, also, reactions on our commercial work from uh, amateurs or from people who are not connected were way more interesting than than um, if you if if uh, if someone from your field is saying like, oh, that's that's amazing. Um, so it's 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 a similar thing with with my my private work. It's it's like I'm 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 just I'm I'm a I'm a I'm just a person, you know. I'm and I talk to another person without, um, without being, you know. I'm not a graphic designer. I'm I'm just Ike Koenig, and uh, I'm talking to uh, someone uh, I, um, with a different profession, and I, I uh, and that's what 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 interests me, like. Um, me as part of a society, and the society is a mix of of a lot. Uh, uh, and 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 um, and as I'm um, coming from the society, I, I also want to give back something to society, to the society, and not just to a small niche of of of, of the society. So, yeah, that's where my interests are. I mean, your your uh, prints are somehow really human. Also, because you use a uh, analog te printing technique, which is screen printing, uh, yeah. but do you think? And so you you cannot really get in a way perfection from that kind of print. But mm -hmm. in general, do you think perfection exists in design? That's boring. Oh, huh? I mean, uh, <laughs> it's it's something I don't want to reach. Uh, to be honest, like uh, I I had my experience with that. Um, like back in the days when uh, when we were working, I was um, trained analog. So uh, that's where I'm coming from. That's how I got socialized in design. Uh, like designing as an experience with the smell, with the temperature, with the material, with the you know decisions you have to make, and 
uh, the digital design came later. So, so um, I think that's why I'm going back also again to to analog because of um, uh, that experience I had when I was young, uh, and also the, the 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 solution, not the solutions, but the look is, is a different one. Um, and uh, the more we we got digital, the more we tend to uh, 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 search for analog experiences. You know, like that's because we are uh, all our um, experience is based on senses. And um, if you take away a lot of senses, um, then there's a need for, you know, these senses. That's why I think there's also this huge trend uh, of analog things. And uh, um, I, perfection is, uh, you know, I, I Back in the days, um, I was talking to a person who were doing films. Um, before you go for printing, you have to uh, you have to develop a film of your yeah. work, and uh, and like photos were rasterized, and 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 he showed me a, a film of rust, uh, with a I think a 50 raster, um, and there was one dot uh, that was broken, and and I instantly saw this one dot. You know, there was a, a perfect raster uh, with millions of dots, you know, and there was one broken and that was talking to me. And I, and he said, well, yeah, that's why f for him, uh, his thought was um, because humans are not perfect, um, the imperfection is, is speaking to us, you know, like that's where, where we can relate to. And perfection is something that we construct Whatever also perfection means, you know, like it's a construction uh, of um, of ourselves, and 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 so um, you can learn a lot, and you can use what you have learned, you know, and 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 but whatever perfection you you you, I I, I always were more was more interested in 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 where in in work where I found like. I uh, found something that was imperfect, you know, like where I found something, maybe it was a decision or maybe it was by accident, but uh, I found it like, uh, okay, it's all done in the grid, but there's this little thing that is out of the grid. Amazing, you know, like, um, and, <clears throat> and so, and so uh, if you go out in the street and see what people are doing, um, like the the, the non-educated designers, um, and you see that they are using uh, a three instead of an e because you know the e got broken or something like that. That that's that's a decision they made out of the needs, and 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 uh, and it's not perfect, but it's somehow um, creating character or an identity, and and uh, and. Identity is is always um, something that you know defines you uh, as as special uh, or as um, exclusive. Um, and uh, and if we all drive uh, for perfection, then then where is where is the character? You know, like it's 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 gone. It's like uh, we all agree on uh, on uh, a, a certain you know like. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, we all agree on that. This looks great or perfect, and then what comes later, you know. And it's also like um, I think perfection is also, you know, we we from our from my cultural background, uh, there's a different idea of perfection than from I don't know from from an Asian point of view or from an an African point of view. So it's uh, it's also. It's also the context you are born in um, that that defines whatever means perfection. And uh, so I, I'm 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 more looking for for uh, the broken moments. Uh, um, yeah, the the crutch in the surface, the uh, the moment where, where I feel like oh that's 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 something that where I can you know the the edge where I can. You know, um, uh, look at and and ask myself why is there this edge? And 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 our and our whole experience now is is so much driving into perfection. You know, the 
the black mirrors we are looking in every day, you know, the, this, this amazing um, slick surfaces we are touching, you know, like uh, all, the, all the gadgets we are using now. Um, the first time we open uh, our new laptop, you know, these, these moments of, of, of virginity, you know, like, uh, and, 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 and so, and in this moment, we lose it, you know, we, we open it and it's done, you know, we touch it the first time and then it's, it's this, this broken moment. And, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I mean, I like these things for sure. You know, it's, it's really sexy to, 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 to touch, but, but um, it doesn't give me any, any other response, you know, like, uh, the, the little scratch on my on my screen, you know, it. I always look at this little scratch, and I'm like, it, it was not designed, you know. It was, it was because I used it, and and, and it has a history, and uh, it's an industrial product that that became my uh, personal product, you know, like because of it fall or I don't know, you know. So, so there's a history written in it, and and I'm very much interested in this. Uh, the scars of the history, yeah. and it's the same in design. I'm I'm very much looking for a, any um, person I can figure out behind a design. And if uh, everything is done by an algorithm, you know, then yeah, it's, it's design is still done by humans, and um, and I want to see uh, somehow the human behind the design and not. Um, a, a book of rules and uh, uh, yeah, or an algorithm. One of the topic regarding uh, contemporary design that you also mentioned before is that uh, a lot of people also not educated uh, are doing design and is important for you in contemporary design this topic? Um, I mean, uh, I mean, I know, I know a lot of people without uh, any diploma. You know how great designers. I think it's, it's, it's. You, you don't need to have this um, background um, to do things I'm interested in. Yeah, uh, but I'm teaching, and 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 for sure, knowing the history of design is is uh, is an it's an important part of your own design, you know, like uh, figuring out that, that whatever you do is not new. Um, I mean, okay, if a new technology arises, then you can produce new things with this technology, but, but, um, but the, the elements we are using in, in design are, are, are limited, you know, the shapes, the colors, the, you know, it's it's, it's a limited uh, toolbox, uh, and and uh, and um, we are going through uh, a lot of processes. Um, a lot of other people walked through before. You know, uh, uh, the generation before us and the generation before us. It's because that's how you um, learn how to use these um, shapes, and um, if it's educated or or by yourself. Like an autodidact, so it's it's. Um, I think education can help uh, um, uh, you to understand that um, you are part of a of a of a history already, you know, and that other people were doing similar things before. Uh, um, so it's also good to you know like uh, uh, that that you position your own work. Uh, by referring to other people's work in the past, but bringing some contemporary uh, uh, moments into it. So I think it's 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 good to. Um, you don't need to be educated by someone else. You can do it by yourself. You know, like just being interested in that. Uh, um, so educate. I mean, ed education right now is 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 something you also have to question. You know, like how how do you educate? Uh, artists or graphic designers nowadays um, uh, and it can't be in the same way like you did it 20 years ago you know it's it's uh, all these 
uh, knowledge is out there already. You know, before when I studied, uh, there was there was this um, centrification of information or knowledge. You know, like there was a professor, and who was he, that was the wise person. You know, like the the person with the knowledge and uh, and the other knowledge were was in the library or, but but now there's the internet, so that democrat, uh, democratized uh, a lot of things, you know, like you can learn how to use all the tools by uh, tutorials and, and you don't need a person anymore to do that. And that's, that's amazing. So, so I think that um, this generation who grows up now with all these online tutorials and stuff like this, they, they can be a designer with 13 without being educated, you know, uh, they are living in a designed world. So they, they breathe and eat design every day. Um, so now as me as a person, as a teacher, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more looking into creating a space where people can um, uh, figure out who they are, what they want, uh, what their strengths is or what their weakness is, you know, and then support them in that, you know, I can trigger them, I can help them, but I cannot tell them, you know, what what for me is good or what for me is bad. I, I mean, I can tell them, you know, but at the same time, you know, they, they can go online and, 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 and get a lot of... Uh, uh, feedback um, or inspiration or knowledge from that. So it's it's not about. I mean, it's 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 a little bit about my experience I, I, I gained as a designer, but it's just one experience. And so um, so I'm trying to open this up uh, way more and and you know concentrate on responsibility, concentrate on. Uh, the strengths of your voice, you know, become a, a, a critical um, designer, become a critical citizen. Um, question me also as a as a person. Sorry, that's some noise because we have some delivery here. Um, uh, so, yeah, education nowadays is something you have to question, and 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 now I'm I'm starting my. My course is next week, and it's the first time that we're doing it completely uh, digital, like online. Uh, uh, and and uh, and let's see, let's see how that will change. Uh, uh, you know, like how we how we get in contact with with people. I, I still believe that the personal contact is is uh, is uh, very very important. Uh, the dialogue in between two bodies is uh, is a different thing than a, a, a virtual or digital one. So let's see where, where we'll go. But, but it's, yeah, we, we have to question how we, or how we educate uh, young people in design. Um, and I think it should be way more critical than just uh, telling them what is trending or what is cool or, you know, like how do things look good or, uh, it's that's that's so easy, you know. Like, um, uh, but use that that um, that way of thinking to to give back something to society or or help someone with it, and and not just be a, a profit maker or uh, other person who's who's doing the cool graphics, you know. And what, 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 do you, what do you think about the impact of internet on design? Because I, I it's, thought, it's massive. <laughs> yeah, but because yeah, I thought that the beginning for you was important, really, in the yeah. communication. But yeah. now also talking to you, uh, I also had the impression that it's not so important. I mean, it's just a tool. Ah, well, mm, I, I think it has a huge impact. I think, uh, you know, it, it, when I grew up uh, without internet, so I'm post-internet, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, pre-internet, uh, um, the only contact to graphic design was uh, when I was going to university and talking to professors or students, you know, seeing other people's work, uh, going to the library and look through 
books that uh, where the content is graphic, um, or the few things that happen in the streets, but uh, or records or something like this. So, but uh, the, there was a, you know, the, the, I, I was just whatever I was doing as a student was completely innocent. You know, like I was just doing it because I I I I, uh, I had this idea and then I was doing it without. Uh, knowing that someone else did this already, you know, like, or, or had this idea already, and um, and uh, since the internet, um, it's so easy to, uh, um, you know, the, the 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 competition is is suddenly global, you know, like before, uh, the comp the competition was very very local, you know, uh, I had my students uh, around me and they were doing things and I could compete to them you know like I, I was doing something I, I saw their work and and but now it's like a global instant thing you know you go online and then you check oh wow uh, there's amazing stuff going on out there you know and and that's frustrating or it easily can frustrate you you know especially when you start doing it because you know um, there's a lot of learning. There's a lot of practicing, experiencing. There are a lot of failings you have to go through, and um, and suddenly you want to be seen. You want to do things that other people like, and you know it's this. It's this. You put things online, and you want to have a reaction. And uh, and uh, I, I had not that. I mean, I'm I'm very <laughs> romantic right now, but I had not this. You know, you know, I, I, this need to show my work global uh, uh, and get a reaction on that um, and I think it needed like 10 years for for the studio hort to be recognized outside you know like uh, there was a recognition in, in, in our business in the record industry because of the the record itself like a business card you know someone saw it and then they liked it and then they contacted you but but there was not a there was not this tool, internet that uh, everyone can uh, 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 can look through, and so uh, so it's I, I think I think um, also design becomes way more like a or trends become way more like a global thing and less a local thing, uh, and and uh, and the mix of of uh, of uh, culture and design also is because of the internet. Um, that's not bad, you know. Like, uh, uh, but uh, uh, it's a phenomenon of 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 of, of itself. But um, but I think a lot of my a lot of my students are struggling with um, with. Uh, you know they want they they want to be um, seen and they want to be popular and they want you know because of that because there's a chance to 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 be you know like and and some some people are doing very well with this you know like I have uh, like uh, Obi One Thousand and uh, uh, like Suchuk and Bradwurst you know like these small uh, collectives you know like they they. They become popular and and known just because of the internet, and uh, they're doing very well with this, you know. But for for the the massive amount of other students, it's very very hard to be seen. And uh, so I think I think uh, if you if you really want to focus on your own development, on your own ideas, and on your own, you know, ideas are. are are everywhere and for everyone open. It's an open source thing, you know. Like and and ideas are popping up everywhere in, in in the world. So you will never have your own idea, you know, without anyone having the same idea. So it's it's it's. But it's important to. I think for your own development, it's important also to uh, to shut down. Uh, all the information you get from 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 around and 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 just have a deep look into yourself. What 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 are my interests? What what I'm, you know, what are the questions I'm dealing with? You know, what what interests me in 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 this um, discipline and where I'm, where, where's my strengths and what can I develop into a, a, a strong signature of myself? You know, so so. 
this is the same with inspiration you know i'm i'm not getting inspired by 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 other people's work i'm seeing on the internet i'm getting inspired by being open for a lot of things like uh, going to theater reading literature uh, walking through the streets you know like that's that's an that's it's a mindset that that inspires me yeah uh, being open for uh, things uh, that could touch me as a person uh, and i could you know use in my own work so um so it's, it, it, it's it's like spending too much time looking at other people's work doesn't help you I mean, you can learn from that and you can, you know, like uh, understanding how it was done so you can learn it practically. But but, um, but in the end, uh, uh, design that that I really enjoy looking at is design where I can see someone behind it and uh, like in uh, a character uh, that designed it and, 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 and not... Uh, another uh, uh, another I don't know um, Tumblr trend you know like uh, <laughs> so so I, I'm I'm I, yeah I, I like it as a as a as a source uh, and and uh, it's like this uh, beauty and the beast you know like it, it has this very very dark sides and um, and it's a, just a question of how to use it uh, but you you are a teacher, but also I mean the founder of Hort Design, and um, you you see usually a lot of young designers, and during the years you saw uh, a particular change in the young generation, like they are changing, especially I don't know, in starting from a dark background or something like that. Yeah, I, I can see. Yeah, sure. After in these twenty five years, I, th I think we we had interns for around twenty years. Um, we stopped this because of our situation. How we are working now together, we we can't deal with, or we we, we can't take a responsibility for having uh, interns anymore. But uh, but I have seen a, um, a huge um, development. You know, like. Uh, um, uh, these young uh, kids are amazing, you know, like now what, what, what they can do already, what they are interested in uh, um, and, uh, and uh, the knowledge they have without knowing it. Uh, but potential is the same, you know, like uh, I, see po I, I, I could see potential 20 years ago and I can see potential nowadays, you know, like how, how could a person develop into uh, but they are way more uh, used to design. They're way more, um, you know, soaked up with design. They they are breathing design. Um, uh, but I can also see like um, uh, we as a studio, we were always more interested in in individuals like uh, like really characters in design or characters in in art or whatever and I, I, I and I could see a trend in in education like the bachelor uh, the, when we started having the bachelor in in, in, in Europe um, suddenly the portfolios all looked the same you know people got uh, educated in, in using tools and, you know, following uh, the ideas of someone who educated you. And, uh, and, and, and I was totally missing uh, individuality in, in these uh, portfolios. So, so I think the, 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 I think the bachelor idea in, 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 in graphic design is, is, wasn't a good decision. To install, um, it was. It's based on a an, an, on an industry. Uh, you know, you educate for an industry, um, but uh, but you don't educate a citizen or you don't educate a critical uh, personality, and that that's where um, yeah, where, where I saw also like a huge trend uh, 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 happening. Just because of education, and uh, and uh, but 
we always there were applications from around the world in our studio and and uh, and um, we looked through them and we were always like uh, amazed by the quality um, of the work people were doing and um, and uh, yeah I think there's a uh, there are very, very good people outside. Um, for me, you know, like for uh, for other people, they might not be good, but or interesting people outside is. Uh, but since we stopped, I mean, I'm I'm still seeing that at university, you know, and I and I, I and I try to um, uh, focus on this uh, individual. Uh, person like like um, you know it's it's they can learn how to use the tools and they can learn how to create a nice poster and they you know they they can learn it by themselves you know like if they have a, um, if they are sensitive for aesthetics and you know trends and things like this they they will figure it out by themselves and do it and, and you can reproduce things that are beautiful or at my trend but um, but but the thing is that uh, um, I always try to explain them uh, or try to give them a, an idea that you know there's a there's also a chance as a as an individual designer you know you you just have to find the right clients you know so so become someone with a signature uh, that is very much related to your background, to your cultural background, to what interests you, what are the strategies of problem solving and stuff. So it's very your DNA that is part of your design. And uh, and, uh, and I think uh, there's a big chance that we will find people who are really interested in that. And so become someone in a niche uh, and not the one that can do everything, you know, like that, 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 then you're exchangeable, you know. If you are able to to deliver uh, um, a lot of things that other people also can deliver, then you're exchangeable. And then, uh, yeah. So um, still, I believe uh, that uh, that you should work on 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 your your personality in design and less and just using or knowing the tools. What do you think the the role of the designer will be in the future? Because, for example, I, I think, and I have the impression, also talking with other interviewees, that um, the designer is becoming more and more independent and trying to find his own way, like you did, for example. Yeah, that's 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 also an amazing uh, development. Uh, you know, when I studied. I think 99% of the students uh, went into industry, you know, and 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 there was no, um, maybe uh, maybe no one told you, you know, like uh, um, why don't you become an entrepreneur, you know, why don't you start your own things, and and you also didn't get, no one um, educated you in, in 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 becoming an entrepreneur, you know, like uh, and, and and now it's the time of entrepreneurs. We we see it everywhere. You know, it's 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 like we are surrounded by people who um, starting up something. Uh, um, and uh, so at that time, um, it was very unusual you, to start your own business. Uh, but now it's just. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I see so many amazing small studios around me you know and in, in back in the days in germany i knew maybe three or four stu uh, studios similar size like mine you know one person or two person uh, uh, studios and, and and the rest was just industry uh, and then and then yeah the industry i mean it's 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 a fucked up industry, you know, like the, uh, how they how they treat people uh, and 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 sell it as as a lifestyle, you know, like uh, uh, working long, uh, working on the weekend, uh, um, 
having cool parties where you win awards, you know, like uh, that was the, the selling um, things, uh, 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 you know, having a cool lifestyle uh, by working in an agency. But that was just, they were just using uh, uh, young people uh, to make profit. And, 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 and at one point, I think uh, in a society, in a society that is so well, you know, going like in which we or I am living in, you know, people start to think and people start to, well, is that everything I want to do, you know, like uh, work um, for other people, you know, uh, uh, working uh, 24 hours, um, not getting paid well. Uh, uh, um, and and I think the, that that uh, also a lot of people got frustrated by the jobs where they had to do there. You know, like um, it, pff, packaging for I don't know. You know, like it it maybe 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 also it wasn't challenging to do that. So so suddenly a lot of people started to uh, uh, run their own businesses, and 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 it's it's so great to see that. You know, like that's there are so many. I know so many really, really, really good um, teams or, or, or just uh, persons, you know, like uh, doing amazing stuff. And and uh, I think the clients figured out you don't need to have all these big companies. Um, you know, you can also work with individuals. And and so so that's good. That's good to see. Um, and. Uh, and you will not go back to the uh, the old situation. I think that that uh, right now I, I, I'm also trying to um, help my students um, uh, to start their, their their own business. You know, uh, maybe make your experience in 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 in, in the business uh, of other people. But then you know, think about why not becoming an entrepreneur and starting your own. And uh, and I just um, um, share all my experience I had as an individual uh, running a studio, uh, all the things that might happen, you know, like uh, and I just uh, uh, give them an idea, but at the same time support them in doing that. You know, I, I, I prefer to support them starting their own than to go into the industry. But that's because I'm, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, because I'm doing. And I'm also way more happy, uh, 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 you know, to be my own boss and, and make my own decisions and run a studio in a way uh, I would like to run a studio. You know, it's, it's a different way of how to communicate with your people, how to respect them. You know, it's, it's, it's just a... It's it's just a um, yeah. It's also a chance to make things better if you do it by yourself. And I mean, we arrived to the last question, um, which is: Do you think, as as a designers, we can help somehow in this moment that uh, we are facing this global pandemic? Or of course not medically, but in some way maybe we can or not. Uh, the power of change no? through design. <laughs> uh, as a visual designer, yeah, for sure we can make uh, 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 complex situations uh, 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 understandable. Uh, uh, you know, you can you can uh, you can guide people through uh, processes uh, visually and stuff like this. Uh, you can announce, you can use that to communicate. Uh, uh, but but but, um, but I, I think it's it's. Uh, I think I can do more as a citizen as a, uh, than as a designer. You know, like. Um, and that what everyone else also can do. I think uh, depending on what what kind of design you're doing, you know, if, if you are if you are into, I mean, I'm right now talking about visual design, but if you are more into speculative speculative design or design thinking or you know like uh, uh, all the all the more popular uh, design disciplines um, where you integrate society in your design thinking and you know like the impact of your design 
uh, where you uh, not just have the visual part, but also the the the, the the strategy and all the other things that have an impact on on how we live together. I think that that, that that's a massive thing. You know, like that's where you you really can uh, help to change uh, um, uh, things. But in the end, um, I think it it all starts um, in yourself or by yourself. You know, like it's that's where everything happens. Like uh, the decisions you are you are taking are, are, are is is uh, is a political one. You know, like everything you're doing is somehow political and and. Uh, what I'm buying, what I'm consuming, how I treat people, you know, that, that's that's the thing, that's the macro democracy uh, or the macro things that you can do uh, to change the world. And I think that's, that has way more impact than, than any design work I'm doing, you know, like that, that little things that I'm doing in my, in my little community uh, is probably having the biggest impact um, and, and, uh, and not just the, the, the work that I'm putting out there. So, so yeah, I, th I think, um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's wishful thinking, oh, that, that a designer can change the world. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it, uh, it starts, um, I think change starts uh, in here and, uh, and, and, and and it, it doesn't matter if you are a designer or a nurse or um, um, or unemployed or you know it it it's it it starts here and and that's where where the power lies you know that that's where you you, you can create impact from and and uh, so um, so uh, yeah I, I don't see myself as a designer in this situation I, I see myself as a as a as a part of a society, as a global society, and uh, and a local society. So, yeah, I don't know. Thank you very much, Heike. You're welcome. Nice. Yeah.